I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Did it, robot? Android? Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, hi. Sure, thanks. Thank you. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Is that still working on the robot's navigation system? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful day. This feels so weird being that it's supposed to be 1950. What's up with your Volvas box, Andre? You're going haywire. What the f did you do to them? They've been lying there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set him straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You. platform residents and facility guests the address by the director general of facility 3826 dr sechenov is about to begin here's some title gather so in the town square to hear his address it's like there's no reason to have them <laughs> hey that bot's actually pretty good Nice coordination. Did you just there? praise a robot? That I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited right. advice. Look at that. There. All right, comrades, quit shoving, would you? You're a stubborn grown man. Must be hard taking advice from someone else, especially something that's created by someone else. Get your thought device. Ooh, 
progressive waypoints. Alright, that's all. Just the village herbalist. I was just a lonely wolf, my little sorceress. Look. You fought in the war, that comrade Major. You Did you just remember habits. something? No, I can't remember. Now, now. I've been this drawing a blank ever since I got injured. Place. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I. So I can't figure out what it is. I'm so happy. Crispy <laughs> critters, man. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so they do have translations for all of their You have our eternal gratitude, my friends. Come on. That's Feel free to take a pause if you actually want to read that. Basically, they created a virus. And so this is a refuge away from the real world. Who would that, Dave? Anyone who's destroyed in a van? was in 1951. And a few years later, we just go to having cities in the sky. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. It's as if I could reach out and touch them with my hand. That's supposed to be a star map? Interesting. Hello. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Thank you. Come on, glove. You know you want it. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the oh, scanner, sure, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand 
except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy bot, who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> Tap and hold to activate the scanner. Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. What defines a hidden object? Because all I'm seeing right now are robots. And it's not even actually all of the robots, it's just androids. Only the ones that are fully, properly functioning. So, it's basically double tap and hold. Comrade! Humans will be able to control so glad to see you're taking it easy, and Comrade Major. Finally, we the car is waiting. To forget you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his labor, bodyguards. Yeah, and dedicate indeed. ourselves to science. On so, collective is just neuroing. I present more advanced to you form. the device of the future. The neural connector. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind, free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge, and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. Great. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loud documents, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This is a longer elevator. The connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection. Why does the ceiling stay exactly the right distance away from the floor? It has no connecting point. In five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. They travel independently of each other. As a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore huh, robots and reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0, our marvelous network, will be on the 13th. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Yeah, okay, I can move. Thank you! What, what are they doing? 
this just an observation deck? Sure, I can't just get by? No. I, I still can't jump. I don't know if that's going to become a thing. Alright, take me down. Don't crush me. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Yeah, totally. It's still a ways off, though. And I do not have a sprint. That I may have. Ooh, I have a crouch, though. Yes, the odd parking job. Ah! Works this time. What? What's the point? <laughs> Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? There's just a car. The entire There's Soviet something. Union is ecstatic about the unveiling the of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from there. I get city. it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic oh, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. I see you finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. They are good. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. <laughs> Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the Condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. 
straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Interesting. I wonder if that's actually true. There's a lot we don't seem to remember. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Excellent. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibelnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note Jeez. that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Man? Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Trophus initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Please do not unpack. The vehicle has come to a complete stop. I don't have an option. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Rabbit Hawks and facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. 
is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the You're not really... Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me. Alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. We'll see how I can do that. <laughs> Two hits and you're down. Ah, oh, that's what B is. It's a dog. Holy shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Get me out of here! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Help! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! I'm gonna die in here! You're an android. This is a bad idea. Back up, back up. No! He's dumb. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Where did you go? 
talking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Uh, where's my axe? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, Sunny boy. Royally fucked. All right, let's go. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Him. You hang on to that key. I got this. <laughs> Man, great. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Get out of here! No. That's not... Yeah, that is not trustworthy. Hey! You there! On the other side of the door! Is somebody there? There's a red. It was red. How did you even get there? Oh, hurry up! This place is dangerous! Yeah, there's nothing we can do there. Into 
the place. Save game machine. Oh, so that's that's why there's no save system. Got it. Saving data. And shotgun cells, synthetic material, metal parts. Oh, oh, I have telekinesis. That's disappointing. Or at least not yet. <laughs> 